independent man is now on display for everyone to see inside the state capitol. That's after being brought down from the top of the dome by a giant crane. If you caught any of our coverage yesterday on the morning show, it was quite the doozy. But today the statue was unveiled in its temporary home where the public is set to be welcomed in and get a rare close up appearance. Now 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez was at today's unveiling. She joins us now live with what state officials are hoping for with this display. Alex. Joe, I'm here inside of the state house with the star of the show itself, the independent man with a spear in one hand and an anchor of an in another. This 11 foot statue represents Rhode Island and its values, which is why state officials are encouraging everyone to stop by. The independent man was unveiled this morning after being brought down from the top of the Capitol yesterday. That's after state officials found a crack on the foundation it stood on. Now crews are still working to remove the marble from the top of the Capitol in the Meantime, the statue will be on display here at the main entrance through January 8th. After that, it will be refurbished with gold leaf, and once that's done, it will be put back on display again until those repairs to its marble foundation wrap up. Now, that process could take months, so Governor Dan McKee hopes Rhode Island's most iconic artifact will not attract, will not only attract people from across the state and country, but also teach them about the state's history. Now, some are already stopping by, like Ray Q, who drove from Cumberland for today's unveiling. He actually used to live across the street from the Capitol and would see it every day. So he wanted to make sure to be here to get a close look. It's a tremendous historic journey to witness um, somebody that has um, or something that has such uh, intrinsic um, values that represent uh, our state. Now, because cranes are still being used out in the plaza to remove the marble from the top of the Capitol, visitors will have to use the lower entrance in order to get inside. And while you're here, make sure you also sign this guest book. It's recording everyone who visits this iconic monument. Reporting live in Providence, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.